Hey guys, Brandon Millimeter USA here, and today's video is going to be an unbagging, I guess. So this is kind of old 1911 style, if you guys know about his channel. Really appreciate his friendship over the years, he's been great to us. Anyway, this is going to be an unbagging of my Alchemy Custom Weaponry Quantico, chambered in 9mm. These are my other two hard chrome uh, ACW 1911s. This is my first one I got, this is the Prime Elite, full size, and then this is my Prime Compact that I carried for a bit here before I got my most recent Wilson Combat. And yeah, I've got my <laughs> Quantico 9mm in this Wilson Combat bag. Why, you may ask yourself, do I have a Alchemy Custom Weaponry Pistol in a Wilson bag? It's because of this right here. The Wilson bags are fantastic because they allow you to have multiple magazines on board in the bag itself. So here we go. I've got all of my Trip Research 9mm Cobra mags. Super high quality mags. About $50 a piece with your metal base plates here. So those are my spare mags here. I had to get these spare mags for this pistol as far as the trip research. Because ACW guns have a bunch of issues where if you run Wilson Combat 9mm mags through them, you're going to have a bunch of scratching and a bunch of damage happen basically to the internals of your slide. Causing unforeseen damage to your firearm because it's happening internally. Know that going into it, if you're buying a 9mm ACW, you cannot run Wilson Combat Mags or you're going to have issues. Alright, let's get this thing out of here. Here is the Quantico Hard Chrome 9mm. This thing is absolutely beautiful. You can notice that the sides of the slide are polished, whereas the sides of the frame are not. That's how ACW does it. ACW will not polish the sides of the frame because of the uh, Picatinny rail. It just makes it so much more difficult. So this is how it'll come if you order a hard chrome Quantico from them. As you can see, I did order the ring hammer on this pistol. Big fan of the ring hammer. Kind of a part of that ring hammer gang, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> As you can see, I ordered that also on my Prime Compact. But yeah, this is a beautiful pistol, you guys. I ordered it fully outfitted, fully adjustable rear sights, gold bead front. Also ordered the Ambi Safety, of course, because I am left-handed. Also ordered this to have some black accessories to it as far as the barrel is blacked out, the trigger's blacked out, your hammer's blacked out. So I wanted to order it specifically like that because I am a fan of that look. You know, a little bit of two-tone effect. Continue to talk about the pistol here. You do have a thick flange bushing in the front. You can see it has a beautiful crown job there on the 9mm barrel. Taking a look at the back here. It is superbly blended here and fit. And you can actually see that it is out of battery a little bit right here because of the hard chrome job. And this gun is so tightly built. So you can see that right there I pushed it into battery. So this has to be shot a little bit before it uh, breaks in entirely, that's for sure. I did order this pistol with ball cut, so you can see that this is how it'll look on the Quantico pistol. If you guys order one of these rail guns, this is how it will look with that added feature. On the newer ACWs, they're putting a Stan Chen magwell on these, so, so that's a change they made. You can see on my Prime Elite on the right compared to the Stan Chen magwell on the left. Show you guys the trigger on this and wrap this video up. Again, this is just an unboxing, unbagging video on this pistol. Very clean wall. And brick. This trigger's a little bit heavier. It's probably about four and a half pounds. There's the reset. On it again. Medium pad. Great defined wall. Here's the reset. Nice. What an incredible pistol. Guys, this pistol, if you're interested in something like this, will run you about five grand. All right, guys, last thing to mention here is these have standard grips on it, whereas all the rest of my Chrome ACWs have uh, lock grips on it. I think I'm just going to leave the standard grips on this. These are probably VZs. They're pretty nice for uh, double diamond black G10 grips. Anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video showcasing my Alchemy Custom Weaponry Quantico 9mm. More to come on this pistol. Thanks for watching.